right on to our next speaker. Okay, so when I saw the, the, the promo video, I was like, oh, nice. It's nice to sit with, uh, with Oprah, right? Oh, it's, it, like, it goes on your profile, like, forever. I, you don't even have to do anything afterwards. After sitting with Oprah, you are made. <laughs> All right, so we're going to listen to, or hear in the next 15 minutes, we're going to be hearing from another amazing, beautiful woman who is in the space of real estate. Her name is Maleka Bent Jama. She is a renowned interior designer from Morocco. She's passionate also about the space, about creating harmonious and balanced living spaces. So with a round of applause, let's put our heads together for the beautiful Maleka. I am so grateful. I am so happy to be here. Thank you, Hanna, for, for the invitation. Okay, about me. I am a mother of two uh, boys. They're like uh, very in the puberty, so it's a, ch a challenging time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Anna talked about t uh, putting all those balls up. Yes, I'm in that. At the same time, from 24, age of 24, and I'm now 53, uh, I was an entrepreneur. And the reason why I wanted to be an entrepreneur is actually what you said, Hannah, because you're in charge of your own life and you can create it for yourself and your children. And you can be with your children and at the same time, you can have your own business. Now, I had a hair salon. I did lots of different things. But I went a lot of traveling, and everywhere I came, I was very inspired. Inspired about cultures, inspired about places, and how things looked. So that's where the interior design came in. And I thought, let's make from a passion my work. And that's what I did. So I started my own business. And what I do is like interior styling for homes, but I also do commercial uh, spaces. I do the passion uh, projects, and that's more like uh, like like the, uh, how you call it, the, what does Marvin have? Like a resort, yes, yes. Thank you that you all helped me. The resorts, uh, that's our the international dream project, so I will tell you more about that. Uh, I'm also investing right now because I absolutely agree, it's so important for women to just start and just do it. And female empowerment event. I live in the Netherlands, I'm half Moroccan, and I think we female, we women have to stick together and we have to help each other. And you know why? Because I really believe from all the events that I did, and we had events with 250 women, and everything that I heard, whether it was business wife, as a mom, as a professional, but also in our love life, we all have the same challenges. We all have the same things in our lives. And it doesn't matter whether we live in Africa or in Europe, and it's amazing to hear, and when we share that with each other, we see that we can be stronger together. So I'm definitely for that. So why Ghana? And I think Hanna already said it from a professional point of view. Why Ghana? It is amazing how things happened. And it all started with Kulu, my friend, yes. <laughs> and it's all about co-creation. She's my friend. And we met each other at like a marketing uh, like course. And I heard her story. And for me, the story about being in Africa, living in Africa, coming here from, from uh, Eritrea uh, as a fugitive, it was such a strong story. So I said, absolutely, I want you as a speaker on my event. And she came. Everyone was touched by the heart. That was so amazing because the power that I believe, and I think I can say African women have, is just on another level. And I can say that. Because I'm, I'm living in the, in the Netherlands with has that European mentality. But when I come here, I feel it. And I have to say, I cannot explain what it exactly is, but it is there. And I'm right now really exploring it. We're actually doing that together. Like, what is it? Because it says something about us, too. So I really feel African and proud of it. So yeah, and I met, uh, we were like talking together. She wanted to do me, uh, help me with, uh, I wanted to help you with one of the projects. And then she said, I want to buy land somewhere. She made a whole tour to the world to get to Ghana. She bought the land, yes. And she was like, Maleka, what, what, what are we going to do? Can you help me? And we both said, let's do like an ecological thing, because that's the next thing to do. And I will tell you later about that. So I'm very happy for that, very privileged. That's why Ghana. And every time when I come here, I feel so happy. So yeah, next slide, please. So what I'm going to talk about has everything to do with networking and partnership, the importance of that. We already heard more about that. 
also the power of marketing is very important. And I will show you, because talking is one thing, but I want to show you the cases that I'm doing in order to see what the possibilities are. And I don't know exactly what you're doing here, but then you can see different cases in different countries, uh, how we approach it. And then my vision, what do I want to do? Everyone here in the room, did you ever experience, when you come in a room and when you feel like the energy is just not right? It doesn't feel right. I actually don't want to be here. Did anyone experience that feeling? Yes. Did you ever felt that? Well, yes. This is like a beautiful example of how it should feel. I came in here this morning. I was like, yes, like a fresh breath of air and the energy and the women. And that's kind of what I always, that's my point of view. When I come into a room, I want to change the energy. And whatever needs to be done, I'm going to do it. And what I use is nature. And in Ghana, nature is amazing. So that's already what we have. And I also use that in my life. So the laws of nature are very important. It's all about experience. Um, it's all about experience that you feel. It's like storytelling. And that has to do with marketing. And then build your network. Now, marketing has been used a lot because I'm doing commercial rooms. I'm doing also like uh, the resorts, everything, spa. And it starts with what do you, as a home homeowner or someone who has a property, what does the client want to experience? And that's why marketing comes in. So when I started, and it was really nice because when Kula and I the first time went to Ghana, she said, Malika, do you have time to also do a restaurant? Because I'm starting a restaurant here, so can you do the restaurant? And we had to do it in, I think, about two, three weeks, which was normally not possible. But I always like to come from one thing. First say yes, then think of how you're gonna do it. <laughs> really, and Ghana taught me something because in Europe, it's all like, in the Netherlands, like, all like, okay, you do this, you do this, and everything is structured, structured. And it doesn't feel good. Then I come here, and in a way, it felt like chaos. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Yeah. yeah, and that's what we have to learn, coming from that European mindset. And what I felt like, and Kula and I were like, you know what, let's go with the flow, and let's see where we get to. And it was an amazing journey where there were so many things that weren't possible, but we made it possible. And we made it, and, and that's something I learned here in Ghana more, being flexible. So that's really nice. So marketing is important. And I started with her uh, restaurant with making a profile board and a mood board. Because who is going to be in the restaurant? Who's going to eat there? What does this lady, this couple wants to experience there. Who is it? How do they live? And that's what I do. But a lot of projects need more, like the resort. And then I let someone come in, and she's my friend, and she's the sister of Kulu, who is going to help me. So it's all about making co-creations and collaboration. So please, I want to share the video. And this is Semmar, sister of Kulu. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Semar. I am originally from Eritrea and I was raised in the Netherlands. I am a brand specialist and a marketing manager and I help my clients to uh, create a brand that fits their uh, vision, uh, what they have for themselves or for their company. And I also help them market that vision, that brand that we've created towards their target audience. So that's what I do in a nutshell. In the Netherlands, I've been working alongside Maleka for a while now. She and I have been working on projects in the Netherlands, but also abroad, such as Ghana. And, um, uh, and that's something I would like to emphasize on because it, I think it's important to have good relations with different uh, professionals to make sure that when uh, in need, you can find each other, uh, collaborate on different projects, and uh, use each other's expertise to serve your client as best as possible. And that's what we're doing right now um, for Shark Island, but also for the project in Ebury. She has her own expertise and I have mine. And together we can make sure that the project becomes uh, as great as possible. So 
that's what I have to say. Thank you for listening, and I wish you a lovely day at this event. <laughs> Yes, she is amazing and it's amazing to work with her. So what I love is when you create like collaboration for life, if possible. So that's really nice. So is anyone familiar here with sales styling? Okay, let's, let's talk about that then because I think this is an area where we can do so much more. And let's first see, can I have the next slide, what sales styling is. Yeah, sales styling has everything to do with making a project, a house, make more beautiful, making it attractive. And you can do a lot of things for that, and I will share definitely more tips on Instagram, so please follow me. It's all about the first impression, but isn't it the same when you are dating, when you see a man? You know, the first impression, you can never do it over. It's always like that. And the first impression into sales se selling, people in three minutes, they clear, think in their minds, I want to buy or I don't want to buy. Three minutes. So the listing is important. That means the listing online, that's where it starts. I bought one home online because online it looked good. It felt good. And yes, I took a look. And then it felt the same. So I said, yes, let's do it. So it all starts with the first impression. Now, let's talk about men and women. How do men look at homes and how do women look at homes? Men look at at least, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if it's different in Ghana, because I love to hear. But in Europe, people, men think of safety when they're going to buy a home. Women, they think of, can I have a good household with my family here? Can I make it cozy? Can I make it homey? And can I keep it clean? At least in Europe, because we don't have a lot of people that have people cleaning the house all the time. So can I keep it clean? And it's also true, because you told it too, Women are the ones who make the decisions. Also with buying a home, they are the ones. And then if you look at it, uh, with all the projects that I did, in research they say 10% more profit, but in reality I see much more profit when someone invests in time, energy, and some money into upgrade their home, upgrade their, you know, whatever they have into something better. And it will sell faster, which is also sometimes important, especially when the market is changing. So yeah, let's see a couple of cases that I did. So please, next slide. Uh, I want to show it to you. They're very different. That's why I chose those. I did many more, but just so you have an impression. And I want to let you know, think of your own project and how can you be flexible? How can you see this put into your project? So next slide. This is a simple house in the Netherlands. It's like almost in my hometown. And they wanted to sell it and they wanted to have more money extra be beyond the price, the asking price, because they said, we want to enjoy life. I said, I love the couple said, let's do it. Let's put that intention in the air. So it was empty. They cleaned it, they did the walls. And what we did is I rented furniture. I work with a company, always the same. Did a mood board. We said, okay, we're going to do it for a younger couple. We really visualize probably a younger couple is going to buy it. And in the next slide, you can see how it looks like when it is staged, when the furniture is there. An important thing is also the photographer. I always choose a photographer who, yes, yes, absolutely. The angles and the lightning is very important. Thank you. And the lightning is very important. And what you see, some green in here. People like it light, and what is also important is people want to see the space, so we don't want to put too much in it. So in the next slide, you can see how it was in the bedrooms. And I'm so glad because these people really help because I asked them, please do the walls, please make it lighter, invest a little bit in it, and they did it. And you see the bedrooms, they are air beds. So with little things, you can do a lot. We didn't invest a lot in you know, the bed. You always want to show like an office because people love to work at home. So yeah, so this is that project. And then let me go to another place. It's Almere. This is a home in the middle of the country. Uh, it's a new home. So the next slide, please. It's very nice. And you see here, it's new construction. It's just new, the same thing. I rented all the furniture, made a mood board. We kind of said, okay, who wants to live here? And the result is in to see in the next slide. And you see beautiful lights, you know, colors that most people love. 
and really nice bedrooms and everything. So yeah, that's kind of what the difference is. And this is a nice collo collaboration with a broker. And the broker lives in the northern part, and we met it through, the, through, the, through Kulu, really liked what I did with Kulu's home, and so he said, let's have a collaboration. And I really want you to meet him because he's a really nice man. So please show the video. Good afternoon, this is Randall from Tamaison Real Estate. I'm a real estate agent in the Netherlands and Malika asked me to uh, tell you a little bit more about our collaboration together. Well, as a real estate agent, uh, we sell houses, we buy houses for our clients and we also renovate houses. And uh, an extra service that we provide for our clients is that if a house is not easily sold or if it's empty then we can stage the house for them and style the house for them there's where malika comes in play she helps us with the staging and decoration of the houses and in this way we can sell the house for a better price so that's uh, a nutshell of what we do together we also have other uh, collaborations on other uh, 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 topics in real estate but that's something for another moment. Um, Malika is a very pleasant person to work with and um, she's highly valued by our agency. Malika, good luck. And uh, all the people that are watching this, maybe we can have a collaboration in the nearby future. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> yes, he's very nice. So the next one that I want to see, and we have to click a little bit further because I'm so enthusiastic, but I cannot show you everything. Uh, I want to go further. So maybe if you click further to uh, Shark Island. Everyone, anyone heard from Shark Island? Here I am. Ah, there she is. And we're going to Shark Island. Yes, Shark Island. This is Marvin. And it's really, it's a resort. And we met each other. And right away, it was like, yes. And can I have the next slide, please? You see here, it's an amazing resort, and I'm the house stylist right now, so I'm really proud of that because it's amazing to work with him. <laughs> and it's kind of an adrenaline uh, manly thing, but I'm going to create some more women vibe and more <laughs> island vibe in there. That's what it needs. That's what it needs. So next slide, please. As you can see, and the next one. Yes. So... Go visit to it because you really fell in love. And Hannah, you know, I, I, I refer to you because it's your thing. Eh? And definitely go visit to, to uh, Shark Island because it's amazing. And I do want to close off with two things. One thing is the collaboration with Na, and she's here. So please show the video. Hi, I am Na Deshwamano. I'm a designer and the founder of Creating Spaces. I was recently introduced to Malika by Hannah Tiasse, and we are currently in the middle of a very fun and productive collaboration, working on two projects in Ghana, Shack Island and the Ibriaco village. More than only being fun, working with Malika has been an insightful and extremely educational experience. Her background in, in interiors and her love for everything natural really contributes a different note and texture to our design collaboration so that the final output of our work is really enriched. What I have found in Malika and in this collaboration is not just a solid design partner. I have found inspiration. I have found somebody that really understands and somebody that really gets it and somebody that I can trust to always push me to do a little better. And I hope that in this space, as you are networking with other people, that you're able to find that sort of collaboration that brings even more depth to your work. All the best. Thank you, Now, Please stand up. <laughs> Thank you. And she lives close to my hometown, so it's easy to work with her. And I want to finish up with very much a project of the heart. So please, next slide and the one after that. And that's a project that Kulu and I are doing. She bought the land in Aburi. And this is the passion project because we're going to build some ecological houses with that. We're going to work with... Yes, totally. Like, like the goal is 100%, so maybe a little bit less, but like really, really ecological, but we want to create the ecological, but still that luxurious lifestyle, and that is possible. So we're going to do that, 
And uh, right now, people are already starting purchasing. I brought the first one at Kulu because I'm so believing in the project. And uh, what is the most uh, exciting thing about it, please, the next slide, what we want to do, and that really is like, I don't want to come to Ghana to get things. I want the circle to, because that doesn't feel good. And what we want to do is we want to, uh, because I was a single mom, and so it felt to me, so what we want is when somebody purchased the house, we also going to help someone, a single mom with children, to have their own ho home. So, yeah. And I want to ask you guys for help because, yeah, super. And I really want to ask you for help because we want to make this worth. We're kind of new here in this. So help us, re you know, creating this. And that's why it's like the full circle. It's for mother and child, for the earth, it's good. And also fair economics. So this is the passion project. And I really would love you all. Next slide, please. That's the last one to all be a part of this journey that we are in, all one with nature. And please get your phone, uh, connect with Instagram, and I'm definitely going to share more with you. I want to talk with you ladies. So thank you so much. Just love to be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Maleka. Awesome, awesome. Another round of applause for her.